Yay, this meeting is being live streamed. So let me readjust us here. Refresh in our group, which is futureblacklifecoaches.com. If you're not there, you should be www.futureblacklifecoaches.com. Okay. Now that you know the place to be, if you're not already there with us, come on over. Oh, which is future black life coaches. Before I do that, let me grab my magical earpiece. Forgot about that. Because we want to make sure that you only hear me once. There we go. So excited for this. So excited to be here. Oh, she is powering up in my ear. So cute. Okay. All right. Sounds like you only hear me once in the Facebook group. We are going to tag our people as well. And we are going to let everybody know. Where we are. So it usually takes Facebook a minute to do that. Let me pin us. See if it'll let me tag everybody, which is so weird it doesn't let you do that when you're live, but it lets you do it in the group. Yeah. So we'll give it a minute. The face will populate. I see y'all joining in the group. Hey girl, say hey when you come in. Let me know you can hear me and see me. And it's only once, okay? But you can hear me and you can see me, but you only hear me and see me once. Right, so we are live for day two of the future <laughs> Black Life Coach Bootcamp. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for correcting me. Five day Bootcamp. There we go. I'm posting it on my page. So those of you who are not yet in our group can see us and join us over at www.futureblack lifecoaches.com. I'll personally let you in the group. You can come hang out with us live and get some live engagement, interaction, feedback, all the goody goodness, okay? So let me log back in. See who is joining us. All right, I am ready to rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll feedback does not exist here. Praise the Lord. We are recording on Zoom as well as our live stream in our group. I'm going to take my earpiece out because you guys can hear me and there's no double speak. And so as we wait on Facebook to let our people know that we are live, I'm checking off mentally in my list in my head. Is there anything else I need to be doing? <clears throat> so let's see. I'm going to spend a minute tagging some of our coaches, which seems to help. Um, help let them know that we are live. Doing Facebook's job for Facebook. So bear with me. If you got to run to the bathroom, Get some water, check your Wi-Fi, grab your journals, grab your pens, because you know we're about to have a good old time like we did on day one, right? Um, if you got to tell your family to get off the Wi-Fi, to leave you alone for the next 60 to 90 minutes, do that, okay? It's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. And then uh, you'll walk away with knowing your next steps on becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified, Black woman, Christian certified life coach. You guys can tell I say that a lot, right? So today has been an exciting day. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited for what's coming up next. So make sure you hang out with us. If you missed the day one replay, I invite you to go back and watch it, please. And thank you. And add your notes, your takeaways, your ahas from what you gathered 
from what was shared. See who we chose as our favorite comments and commentor of the day. And I'll be looking out for those today as well. So have your typing fingers ready. That's why I say you gotta make sure you're in a quiet environment. Nobody's messing with you. Have your listening ears on, okay? Because when I drop the nuggets, you gotta be ready to grab them and engage with me and share your feedback and your answers when I ask you questions. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, just like yesterday was. So I'm not sure how many people Facebook realistically lets me tag. So let's see. <laughs> Um, Cause I know it'll let me sit and tap all day, but then you really don't know if it's working. So as soon as I know we are ready to rock and roll in our group with those who are joining us, then I will go ahead and click play on our first video and get us started. Which by the way, let me go ahead and get that set up for us. Um, and I don't know if it'll let me Skip, but it should, it should, it should. Hmm. Let's see. I come on early to deal with tech so that tech cannot deal with me. But here we are. <laughs> just I'm never drink Austin here. There I'm extremely Hold on. I guess I can't rewind or drink of Austin. Okay. So we won't stress about this. Drink of Austin here. I'm I'm pause it and uh, double check. Rika Austin here. All right. I'm extremely Video. proud. <laughs> Drika Austin here. Let me skip this. There we go. Written day two. All right, y'all. Where y'all at now? Where y'all at now? Come on. I don't want to talk to myself. I can. <laughs> Hello, Marguerite. How are you? If you can hear me, let me know. I am live on Zoom, um, but also watching you guys on my phone, which shows me your comments because I have yet to learn how to do that live on Facebook without getting the tech feedback from me. It's very interesting. All right. So we are right on schedule. I am making sure that the right people are with us. If you're there and I just can't see you um, because of Facebook, whatever, talk to me in the comments, say hello. Let me know what city you're representing so that <laughs> it will uh, hopefully send out the alert to the others who are supposed to be here, who said they were coming, who I don't wanna leave out, I don't wanna skip or miss, but also we on a schedule, right? So y'all know as long as there's one, letting me know they're here, they're hanging out. I will teach this thing like it's a full room, okay? So talk to me, I see you joining. Okay, cool, welcome. <laughs> so yesterday, day one, right? We talked about what you would tell your best friend about day one of the future black woman, a Christian life coach, five day boot camp. I love how engaged you guys were. We had like 156 comments on our live yesterday. Hopefully today I'll get you guys engaged, participating, answering the questions, talking back to me. You know, I love when you do that, right? So welcome to day two of the Future Black Life Coach five-day boot camp. If you have a friend that should be here, needs to be here, said she was going to be here, wants to be here, give her that little bitty website at the bottom of what you see on your screen. www.futureblacklifecoaches.com is the place to be. Hello, Coach Felicia. How are you? Y'all say hey when you come in. Tell me what city you're repping 
because we wrapped up day one with you guys telling me what you would tell your best friend about day one. Um, we went through the 27 coaching qualities, the little secrets that I got to pour out onto you guys and work for the hallelujahs and the amens, okay? So have your hallelujah hands ready. <laughs> uh, we defined Black Life Coach Certification because I understand a lot of people don't know what it is, don't know what to look for. And so we're breaking down that more and more. So this is a five-day process. Make sure you set your calendars and your alarms to be with us, to be here with us every day to further define and understand what the Black Life Coach Certification process looks like. And we wrapped up day one with the Lady of Legacy feature film documentary, the doctoral level documentary that breaks down my company, the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, and who I am, Dr. AJ Austin. And you met some of our coaches. Well, today for day two, I want to start by asking you guys, not only what city are you repping, you got to talk to me for me to know who's here because Facebook is delaying. We'll just put it like that and show me who's here. So tell me where you're watching from and then drop it really quick in the comments. Y'all know I need engagement. I need energy. I chose to be here live. You chose to show up live here with me. Well, you got to talk like we in the same room on tonight. Okay. So for day two, let's start the discussion with what one thing you're hoping to take away from today's boot camp. What do you hope to get out of day Two. Day one was a lot of fun. If you missed the replay, please click it, go back and watch it. It will be up during our five-day boot camp. Now, after that, I don't know what y'all talking about. I, what replay? Okay, so make sure you go back and watch it if you need to. Because day two, we're going to be going through what we call the eight modals of coaching. Not the eight models, but the eight modals, meaning how it's delivered. Um, and so we're going to break that down. You're going to get to meet the first 110. I'll tell you what that is coming up. And then you're going to realize what's possible for you when we talk about how Black life coaches make money and how much. Okay. And then we're going to go through something called the three common coaching categories. Say that three times fast. And we'll wrap up with you getting to hear from one of our coaches and meeting a few of our professionally trained skilled, qualified Black women, Christian certified life coaches. Um, and so make sure, again, you got your journals, your pens, something cute to drink. I do. I had to double check that. Let me get a sip. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Y'all ready? Talk to me in the comments. Say, let's go, coach. Ready, coach. Talk to me. All right. I hope I'm doing, okay. I think I'm, I'm seeing some other stuff. Let me double check. Let me in. Okay, looks good. So when you grab a nugget from anything that I share, by the way, you might see a finger, ring finger. Um, I got a little fidget ring, if I'm saying it right. It's to help me. You know, when you got to just play with something while you're talking. Um, that's my little fidget ring. So post in our group, the Future Black Woman, a Christian Certified Life Coaches private Facebook group. And this is our Christian coaching community. It's a place for you to share your aha moments, your takeaways from today, yesterday, and the next three days after this, using the hashtag Future Black Life Coach. So hashtag Future Black Life Coach. I start a post um, that asks you, what were your aha moments? What were your takeaways? What do you want to share that you got? Because there are some people who couldn't be here live. They're going to want to hear your take to inspire them to go watch the replay, okay? So I love how I get to go back through your comments just in case I missed them. Um, and so I select our most engaged watcher and I select a favorite comment or commentor from our live comments. And replayers, I'm watching y'all too, okay? And then I share that in the group and we use that as a way for you to share that hashtag future black life coach showing what you got out of each day so we put that in the group i also shared on my social media channels so you'll be the star of the day the more you type the more i get to go back and read and enjoy and share that moment with you so let me double check us on my phone i love to know that we're flowing and i'm not just in the room by myself but again, y'all got to tell me when you are here, say hello. 
so I know who's hanging out, who to watch out for in these comment streets, okay? There's Coach Tamara, Future Black Life Coach. She says already, Coach. Marguerite, Felicia, hey, y'all. Tamara's watching from Ohio and hoping to get more insight on the process. Thank you for sharing, Coach Tam. Felicia, Coach Felicia, Future Black Life Coach Felicia. She's watching from Jacksonville, Florida. What do you hope to get out of tonight? That is the topic on the table. Y'all ready? Let's chat because some of y'all may not have been here, but this is me, Dr. AJ Austin, multi six figure earner. That feels so good to say. Y'all saw my story. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Come on, Drake. <laughs> 187 Black women, Christian certified life coaches on our roster and growing. 16 books. Yes, you can Google me. You can put me in Amazon. Me and that fine Malcolm Jamal Warner pops up because he played Dr. AJ Austin on a show that was filmed here in my city. I can't wait to meet him so we can both be Dr. AJ Austin in Atlanta on TV together. Just two fine celebrities, you know, but I'm the lady that you'll see when you put in Dr. AJ Austin author of 16 books, creator of Data Media, Data, the ATA, that's my initials. We'll go into that in a book. <laughs> um, this is my new media company. I am a producer. You guys got to watch the documentary on day one. Black Life Coach Radio. It may be where some of you guys are hearing this boot camp. That is where we house a lot of the podcast episodes and Facebook lives and YouTube videos and interviews that I'm featured on, but it's a way for you guys to find us. I know one of our coaches who may be here with us tonight, Coach Yvonne, she found us on our podcast. Also Black Life Coach TV, that's our YouTube channel featuring hundreds upon hundreds of videos on how to become a professionally trained, skilled, qualified Black woman, Christian certified life coach, it goes into what Coach Tamara is hoping to get from the night, which is digging into the process and how it works and giving you tidbit by tidbit with every video on how this works, okay? Um, and then there is our doctoral level documentary style film called Lady of Legacy. You saw that on day one. And most recently, we've added to our roster over $25,000 of non-traditional, undiluted, debt-free funding through grants, scholarships, competitions, giveaways, awards, what am I missing? Subsidies, fellowships. Um, <laughs> I'm leaving some stuff out, but we've added that to that multi six figure number. Okay. And we'll go into what that looks like in your bank account. <laughs> We're also helping others get their hands on some of this debt-free money. We gave away $15,000 in partial tuition scholarships in the year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It was in 2022. This year, we're looking forward to doing so much more. What this does is help you. Those of you who are saying, yes, we're going to the next level and getting certified. We meet you literally halfway with a partial tuition scholarship because on the back end and at 25K, somebody got your back. We have a group of sponsors and wise counsel and grant tours, grant committees, people who are looking at our business model. And those of you with a story to share, those of you who were shouting with me on yesterday, I get to tell them about you and they come in and they write us a check. So we're waiting to hear back from over $275,000 worth of those grant applications. And our ultimate goal is to have a separate bank account with multiple six figures sitting in it just for you. Those of you who need that scholarship to get you to the other end of certification so that you can move forward with what God is giving you to do as a future Black life coach, okay? Coach Felicia says, come through debt-free money. Yes, do like this with me. Uh-huh. God is good, isn't he? So since the age of 14, I have held a total of about 23 different part-time and full-time jobs. So I know what it's like to work and not want to. Um, I've also had countless volunteer and leadership positions. Some I didn't want to do. At my church, <laughs> in the community, through corporations that I've worked for, been affiliated with. And a few of the most recent ones being with Facebook. I am a part of the Facebook Leaders Network. We are a featured business 
It's a private Facebook group and a series of events that they keep us up to date on. They send us stuff in the mail. They really just love on us for being users of the platform. So when I come here live, I'm looking for glitches in the system. They just literally emailed me earlier today. I am a part of their end user research team. And so we try out different versions of the app that no one else gets. So my screen looks different than your screen when I'm on Facebook. And they are watching how we as small business owners navigate their system. And we get to report back the bugs, the glitches, the what we would love to see. And I've actually seen some of my ideas implemented on the Facebook app. Can you imagine telling Facebook how it can do better? Do better, Facebook. That's what I do on your behalf, okay? So I've also been uh, a speaker for the American, uh, the Public Gardens Association, which is all of the associations around the world. Uh, they come to Atlanta every few years and they called on me once to teach them how to help their organization get more money when they raise funds, how to tell their story as a global organization. And so that was a lot of fun. I've been on the panel of the Small Business Administration here in Atlanta. Um, there are several home offices and one of the OGs who's been with SBA for years has followed my story since I was super young in business invited me on stage to tell my story and people loved it. My favorite part was that people that I didn't even know was following the SBA's journey were going to be sitting in the audience. And these were literally the people whose floors and couches I slept on when I was homeless. So to see me go from their floor to in the pulpit, because it was at a church, which we talked about me being a newly ordained pastor recently. I'll tell y'all more about that on a future live. And so this is a form of my ministry, sharing my story, putting it in books, making money from it, and teaching you how to do the same thing in the name of Jesus, in the name of ministry, right? There is an organization called Fiverr. I'm pretty sure if you're a business owner, you've heard about them. I've been their speaker twice. Uh, virtually, I'm one of their community partners. They have this um connection with their local community as well as we bring things online but just sharing the love how i've been able to do this successfully also partnered with the Bronner Business Institute or BBI if you're here in Atlanta you know about the cathedral run by Bishop Dale Brunner well there is a group of Brunner brothers yes the hair care people the multi-million dollar Brunner brothers hair care line that some of us have in our bathrooms black women and it's a black hair care line but they're a family of millionaires that have literally prayed over my business to do good in the earth. Um, and so I have been their speaker off and on for years at the cathedral. They have a training center that was built for entrepreneurs. So, of course, they're going to bring in the entrepreneurs that they've sold into. And I have been affiliated with them for years. And so uh, another Black organization here in Atlanta, the Herndon Foundation, they have, um, and they were one of the first Black millionaire families here in Atlanta. And uh, they're very well now known for their success. And they have a group uh, for future entrepreneurs. Um, and these are young kids, high school age kids. I was their keynote speaker for one of their graduations. And it felt really good to pour back into the next generation of millionaires who are being prepared, you know, and they got some good, good training, okay, walking through that program. And then recently I spoke with the Attention Deficit Disorder Association or ADD.org for those who I train, um, those of us who are naturally hyper. I'm calm right now. I didn't have as much coffee as I would have liked today. But on a regular day, on a regular live, y'all know I'll be off the chain, right? Well, we have people who have trained with us. Those 187 coaches, many have ADD, ADHD, adult diagnosed. Um, we need help keeping our brain still, keeping our minds focused, learning. And so I walked through my system and one of the books that I wrote on how I do that successfully as one of the speakers for ADD.org. And then they extended the invitation for me to come train coaches who have been diagnosed um, as hyperactive. And I'm like, I can relate. I haven't been diagnosed. I don't claim that for my life, but I know how my brain works. And so I got to find something to do. And of course, that involves teaching others, okay? Any other like hyper brains, it's always on. You need help focusing. Caffeine just heightens it. Y yeah, I'm right there with you. So that's a little bit more about me and my background, where I've come from um, in these business streets just over the last few years. It's so much more that I can tell you like this right here. 
I got trained and certified in 2013 as a personal life coach. This is my certificate from the International Science Research Foundation Certified Life Coach. How many of you guys can see your name on a certificate like this? Certified Life Coach, and then your name right there, like, I hereby confer upon and making it official. Remember, we went through the definition of Black Life Coach certification yesterday. This is what that official document, ours are much prettier. I'm an OG, so you got to understand, I've been in this well over a decade. Okay, so we started this for y'all. I feel like mine is the Fred Flintstone version of y'all's uh, Tesla version. Okay, <laughs> like let's say it like that. And so this is my original certificate signed by my coach. You'll get to see a picture of him. I had a coaching number. Our coaches get numbers as well, and they love them. The T-shirt that I have on has a number on the back. If I turn around, you might be able to peek at it. It says Coach Zero Zero Zero. Because I'm where it all began. You know, when a clock resets, we start from zero, baby. Ground zero. Let's go. Now we're up to 187. That's why those numbers are three digits. We'll be in four digits soon. Uh, this certificate was said to have over 5,000 additional certified coaches with it. And so I was just one in that number. And I see y'all on here talking to me. Coach Yvonne says she can see it. I can see it for you, too, because I know where you at in that program. You better come on across the line, girl. Felicia says she can see it. Tamara says, I see it and I speak it for all of us. I join my faith with yours, okay? Where two or three are gathered, okay? Call those things, hallelujah. So I remember when I went to class in 2013, I studied my notes from the class. I reread my training manual. I read tons of books. I watched tons of various DVDs. That shows you how long ago it's been. I watched online videos. I listened to countless cassette tapes. Uh-huh, put the tape in, make sure it rewinds, push the button. That's how long ago, that's how much of an OG your coach is, okay? <laughs> Listening to tapes and CDs and audio books. I attended any special event, any conference, any summit, panel, symposium, teleconference, webinar, seminar, Anything I could get access to or get my hands on, your coach was there learning everything I could so that I could bring it back to you later. I didn't know that's what I was doing at the time, but it was what I was doing at the time. So events like where we at tonight, yeah, I would have been front row typing away trying to win favorite commenter. So what I learned, plus that framed certificate, which I can look right now over my laptop, and to my left, and I have a hallway of things with my degree, my life coach certification, my honorary doctoral, my high school diploma, and my wall keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But all of this, especially that life coaching certificate, it gave me the confidence, which was exactly what I needed to go out and start my new journey as a certified life coach. So if you guys can see that for yourself, I'm seeing it with you, okay? So let me grab these images real quick. I want you to know that this is how we do at. Speaking of, Monto Jordan, he's a friend of mine. This is how we do it, okay? Uh, my journey started with him and his family. I'll have to tell y'all that story on another live. I got to get his permission. Anyway, <laughs> we got t-shirts, coffee mugs. Um, what am I holding in my hand? Whatever you call this, a glass. I know it's usually like a beer mug. I don't drink beer. but we had a mug, a hat, and our t-shirts, and a water bottle that our local designer designed for us. And by us, I mean me, because I get it first, and then I get to send it out to you guys. So when our coaches graduate, they get this shirt. Um, they can order what we call a graduation gift box, which says Certified Life Coach. Their shirt on the back has their number on it. Okay, so all of these fun little things, plus what you see at the bottom, this is one of my PayPal statements. I just grabbed these numbers. This is one of our accounts. I have grown from being just a certified personal life coach to a master life coach, then a master life coach certification trainer to the certifying body for Black women, Christian certified life coaches, to now being in the top 10% of the life coaching industry earners providing insider insight, meaning I go out and learn and bring it back to you and then tell you what it's really like inside the industry, okay? 
And now I am the leading lady of legacy. And so again, this total you see on your screen, which mine is really small, but when I glanced at it earlier, it was a little bit over $113,000. If you can see yourself earning an extra $113,000 just from doing what you love, talk to me in the comments. Put 100K, 113, the money emoji, hallelujah hands, touch and agree, do something to let me know that you can see it, okay? Because again, this is from one of the streams of income that I received since we launched the vision. Felicia says, thank you for the vision. I thank God for the vision. And I know he's also giving you guys vision. So that's why we're here. This is literally why I do what I do. Because y'all call me saying, well, God told me. Here's what he wants. So I'm here for you to help you cross that finish line. So after this boot camp, you'll have the opportunity to do this, to do this too, in much less time though than it took me. We talking a decade. Y'all don't have an extra decade, do you? Okay, a hundred K in a decade. Ooh, so when you follow my model, this is um, what it looks like. This is the possibility. This is the potential. This is me being a living witness. Um, Tamara says 100K tenfold. Come on, Mill, y'all. Yes. Coach Yvonne says touch and agree. We need some more touching and agreeing. Uh, I see. I want it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And so this, again, is an additional income stream of marketing merchandise that you see me holding. I'm pulled over on the side of the road, fresh from our local vendor here in Atlanta. I drive a two-seater Honda sports car. She is my favorite car I've ever owned. And I've been driving since I was 13 years old. I'm older than that now, you know, a few decades. But uh, she is my favorite. And I get uh, offers on her all the time because she is a collector. Uh, classic. I didn't know it when I bought it. I bought it because I needed a car, <laughs> but then I got her souped up and got a good old paint job. She's a grown woman now. She's got some miles on her and people love her. So we get offers all the time for us to sell her. We're not going to sell her. We're going to buy her a sister soon. Okay. So <laughs> I'm excited about that journey. That's a part of the vision I have for why I do what I do. And so us having marketing, marketing, marketing merchandise, this is where, again, we share with our coaching clients who wear our shirts, they wear our hats, they drink out of our mugs on camera. I just happened to, hold on, not that one, and watch I knock some over. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is one of our mugs live in living color. I don't know if I got to do like the YouTubers where they got to put Anyway, my background is blurry, but uh, see, there goes something, it just fell. So that's one of our coffee mugs. I have a pair of shoes that are custom designed with our logo on them. I love trying out the products that our merchants design for us and then allowing our coaches to get them in their boxes as well and share things on camera because this helps our coaches market their own coaching company. And so that's what your coach, your coaching clients can do for you as well. Other additional streams of income as a coach could also include things like speaking live, whether you're live online like this. Hey, y'all, I'm live. It's me. I'm really reading your comments unless you're watching the replay. And then I'll read your replay comments later. But you can be speaking on stage like I have done for the organizations I mentioned earlier, um, where you're coming in, where you are coming in as a coach and speaking on what you coach around and getting coaching clients from that. Um, you could also, I am looking, okay. You can also coach one-on-one. -on -one. I literally just wrapped up a two-hour coaching session with one of my coaching clients uh, talking about grants and how to go out and get some debt-free uh, funding to help coaching clients. And so your one-on-one -on -one coaching can be whatever you get uh, as your specialty as a certified coach. Then there's group coaching where you're coaching in a setting of at least two or more people. Um, a lot of people, when they meet me for the first time, especially when I was doing the live trainings, one of the first questions I would always get is, how can I be where you are as a trainer? So we have coaches who create their own trainings, their own masterclasses and workshops and summits and conferences. It's so much you can do, including monthly memberships and mentorship. 
Um, and so how many of you guys can see yourselves in at least one of these as a certified life coach? Like once you get certified, you branch out and go to that next level. Talk to me. Hello, Dr. Sonia, how are you? So here's me with my very first ever coaching client. This was me fresh out of certification. And you could tell because I got her laptop, my laptop, her journal, my notebook, my notes from class, a worksheet I uh, designed to make sure that I flowed. We're in the back of a honey baked ham. Now I'm vegetarian now, but that honey baked ham is popping. Y'all know how it is. We back there coaching. I had a photographer come take a picture for us. I wanted us to document this moment. You can still see her. Um, she did a testimonial video for me after us working together. We did 12 free coaching sessions so I could try out what we call the eight modals of coaching. And so coaching can be delivered in the following eight um, delivery modals. The first one is in person, like you see us. This is Coach Cassia. She was my first coaching client. She's a nonprofit organization leader. Lydia. Let me slow down. I get excited. She's a nonprofit organization leader. She's now using her impact of her coaching sessions with me to advocate for social change in her community. So we did 12 sessions. Now, here are the eight ways that coaching can be delivered. And you guys let me know which one you could see yourself doing. Because y'all said, uh, Ivana is saying next level. Coach Felice. Coach Felicia is saying, I definitely have the capacity for all of them. Coach Tamara is saying, I can see it. So. Tell me which of the eight that you think you could see yourself doing. There's number one is in person or face-to-face -face, like you see me and Cassia here. Number two is video, kind of like this, live on Zoom. Number three is by phone, same thing, talking, one-on-one, -on -one, coaching. Um, back in the day, back in my day, that's how I should say it, uh, coaching used to be delivered on a free conference call line. I still have my free conference call line. Number four is via audio. I just finished coaching one of our coaches who is at the end of her training as well, and she needed next steps. And so I'm like, let's, we can't get on the phone because I don't have the capacity to do that. Plus our training tonight, plus working with our one-on-one -on -one coach, plus everything else that's lifing right now. Send me an audio clip. You got three minutes to ask me a question and I'll coach you. And I, that's literally what I did. We had about 10 overall exchanges, three minutes at a time, one question at a time, next step at a time, coaching via audio. Uh, you'll see a lot of coaches do that via Voxer, which is an app that you can use kind of like a walkie talkie. And so I do that via Facebook Messenger, again, being one of their leaders using um, what they call the Facebook ecosystem, meaning accessing everything they have in this platform in order to run my coaching company. So that's audio texting number, I mean, audio coaching number five, I gave it away, is texting. Yes, you can coach by text. That's a whole nother training. Number six is texting via email. Now, if you're like me, maybe you, you know, you see me with my journal out and my pen, you could tell I'm a note taker. Now that has become computerized where I can take my videos and my phone conversations and my audio coaching and my text coaching and my in-person face-to-face coaching, and I can put it in text format, put it in the form of a program and send it via email. If you're in Boston Me University, which is one of our um, continuing education mentorship programs, after you get certified, you are coached with me via email. And it's because I've documented the process, put it in a program. Same thing with our certification. I spent a long time writing hundreds of pages of fresh new content based on my experience and the experience of the 110 coaches I certified um, before you. <laughs> and I put it in a course format. That's a form of email coaching. Seven is books. How many of y'all can see yourselves with a book? Because books can be print, ebook, audiobook, and I've done them all. Um, I spent an evening in the studio until I lost my voice. You would have thought I was a rapper in there with my headphones on, motivating the uh, engineer. He was like, now I got something from this. And it was all me reading my print and ebook version of a book that I wrote uh, for coaches, telling my story um, fresh out of class. 
And finally, there are classes, whether you teach these classes live, whether it's a training, like I mentioned earlier, a workshop, a course, a digital product, these are all of the ways coaching can be delivered. Again, in-person, video, phone, audio, text, email, book, classes. Those are, excuse me, the eight more downs. That's dinner trying to come back up. I hope not on camera. Hello, Samantha. how are you? So what's your numbers, future Black Life coaches? Which of the eight can you see yourself doing successfully? And maybe it's all of them, hashtag all of them. Who put hashtag all of them yesterday? Maybe it's hashtag all of them. Um, this is what my first group coaching environment looked like. There was a mall in my hometown who would let me borrow the training room on Sundays um, for one of their stores. And so this is me and my first two coaching clients in a group coaching session. I made about $700 to coach them for, I think we did six weeks and they knew I was fresh out of training. I was trying out my material on them, if you will. I recorded our sessions. Some can still be found on YouTube and they knew, you know, I would use them later to share how we started. The lady on the left, her name is Patty. No, she's not a light-skinned Black woman. She is a white woman, sweetest person that I know in Douglasville, okay? She has faith in me because she's seen my journey, getting certified, writing my books, speaking, packing out rooms, coming to shift my... Um, perspective on business and then training. So she's followed my journey. She's like, I'm hiring you. I don't care. So I love her so, so much. And then you see Dawn. Dawn is my Starbucks client. Every time I walk in Starbucks in my hometown, she was there screaming my name. <laughs> and if I was there for a meeting, she would walk up to the person, whoever I was meeting with, she know what we were talking about. She's like, listen, whatever this lady tells you to do, do it. That's how you want your clients singing your praises, okay? So I branched out into group coaching from one-on-one -on -one coaching after trying it out for free for 12 weeks with my first client and realized that I liked in-person coaching, but when I can record it on video and turn it into a book and then a course and then a training, y'all see how this works? The multi-streams of income, multiple streams of, okay. So I branched out and I offered those live weekly workshops, recorded them and then turned into a group coaching program to empower women entrepreneurs starting in my hometown. Hint, hint, this is where you start finding people who know you. Um, I see hashtag all of them. Yes, because all of them are possible. And I just walked you through how I did it. Here's my first workshop. There was a couple that came and renovated a space in my hometown of Douglasville, Georgia. I said that on the... Uh, Ladies of Legacy documentary yesterday, that's where I'm from. And they renovated this building and became a co-work space. They put millions of dollars into this space. And then just to get a, a acquainted with the business owners and acclimated to the community, they offered us these rooms where we could come have meetings and little events when they weren't busy. So why not? This was like when we pray and ask God for a sign, bless my business, take me to the next level, Lord. And then opportunities like this show up. I had to host something there. We had free space. You know how rare that is, <laughs> even today. And so we hosted the workshop. Um, the lady that you see leaning, she's leaning kind of closer to me. This was back in like 2014, y'all. This was the lady that told me about the life coach certification training that I went through. <laughs> Goji Bun says, yay, Douglasville. So as my life coaching company grew, I also became a well-known and recognized speaker in my hometown. And so people who heard me speak, they loved my confidence that I had in myself and in my coaching business. And so they began asking me, you know, how they too can become a certified life coach. And so this was my very first introduction into that world of workshop hosting and taking coaching on the road, if you will. Um, and people loved it. These four ladies here, one of them was my... Um, she applied to be an intern with me. And she's like, I just want to be in your presence. I'll pay to be there. So she paid to come to the workshop. Tickets were like 25 bucks. Of course, my friend didn't pay. So I made about 75 bucks plus a free room. And then we had our food sponsored through Popeye's. That's when I was eating chicken. Okay. <laughs> so we had a really good time there. And to be able to have that in our memory book is like, you can do this too. You got to start somewhere, right? And then I went off to branch out into classes, which I love. This was my first time creating my own coaching curriculum, like based on a specific 
area. I taught social media classes because people would see how I would get others to learn about who I was and what I did as a new coach. And so they're like, teach us. So we have all types of businesses represented here. Anyone could come to these classes and they did and they paid me. And this space was free as well. I was a member of a co-work space in Atlanta. So people, um, I think we had eight women around the table this day. They all got in their car and drove to Atlanta. Some of them carpooled from Douglasville, which is almost an hour drive. So they really wanted to be there. And that's how much platforms like Facebook have allowed me to grow my coaching company. So I'm throwing that out because people always say, well, where do I find coaching clients? How do you, Facebook girl, they on here. Okay, you got to tell them what you do. So I hosted a series of classes. I loved it so very much. I love teaching and recording it. And so another intern is behind the camera um, taking pictures. And I love what we were able to do with her in exchange for her serving and helping my company grow. We partnered her with the local chamber. She wanted to be a principal when she grew up and got older. Um, and so she got to be a principal for a day thanks to a partnership that I made in the community as a coach, as a speaker. She got to go and live out her dream job as one of my interns. It was so awesome, y'all. Um, so the series of classes, the workshops, the group coaching, the one-on-one, -on -one, these are all the ways that coaching can be delivered. And then here's when you just like, look, mama, we made it. That's that pose of like, you know, we out there. But in reality, my hot water, my gas was off that day, y'all. But you couldn't tell looking at this picture. I was out hustling and working for myself. And I showed up, permed the mess out of my hair, gave me a good old haircut. Yes, I cut my hair myself. Got a free photo shoot that day, y'all. And still use this picture to this day as a confirmed speaker, a storyteller, and an author. I'm going to tell you the real, okay, because we're about to get into the money making. Sometimes it's there and you got to keep pushing for it to stay there, okay? So over time, I began uh, receiving speaking invitations and they weren't all paid speaking events. They were free. Some were paid, but all were guest speaking opportunities, which gave me that platform to deliver my coaching. Um, and so this is who kind of sent me on my way. His name is Dr. Michael J. Duckett. He certified me in a 16 hour course. Okay. I studied that thing. This is the same person who wrote the books and the trainings and DVDs I watched. He blessed me with those. He literally told me in the class, you are a 10 out of 10 and you are going places in this industry. That's all I needed. I had the faith. I knew that I was called to do greater. I needed someone to believe with me. Do you know how, who here can relate to like, you got faith, you're good on your own, but when someone believes with you, not in you, you don't need nobody to believe in you because you and Jesus believe in you. But when they believe with you, joining that faith, two or three are gathered, honey, that thing lines up and you get testimonials like this. Dr. Duckett witnessed my dedication to the work in the industry. He witnessed me expanding my coaching ministry. He witnessed my journey in real world, personal and professional experiences. He knows my story. And so he uh, certified me. And then shortly, by shortly, I mean a few years after I got certified, got some experience on what it takes to get the clients he brought me on his team thanks to an invitation from another one of his trainers. And here I am for three years, almost four. I trained 110 coaches. This is us here live in Atlanta. And all 110 came through my training room. You could tell I do what I love and love what I do, right? I ended up becoming an affiliate with uh, the training company that certified me, a three-year training partner with that same life coach certification training company. And when I say I fell in love, I knew I was called for greater. I knew I wanted to teach, but this was me activating the training and development degree that I had just earned and spent over 100K on of other people's money. Okay. Let me see what y'all saying. Coach Yvonne says, yes. Coach Tam says, it's an amazing it's an amazing feeling when others recognize your gifts and support you. Coach Felicia says, I'm claiming that in this moment. All right. 
because that's what it's about joining that faith. So everybody you see looking up at me, we had a photographer there that day. I'm telling them to act natural, but the lady in the front, her name is Christine. And she just refused to be natural and relax. She was fixing her hair and makeup and posing. And I'm like, Christine, relax. Um, so I know all of my coaches. So that's coach Christine in the front. Um, you can kind of see a little head peeking <laughs> over her shoulder. Um, this is one of our latest speakers in training. Okay. And just to hear like where everybody came from, what they were doing is just amazing. And so I love keeping up with our coaches on their journeys, like where they started and where they are. Uh, behind her is coach Magdalena. Next to her is coach Javar. In the back, we have South Carolina. So when I tell y'all to rep your cities, I've been trying to remember where all y'all from. So one coach drove from the Carolinas to come hang out with us, Coach Carolyn. And then it's so many other coaches on the other side of the room. But just to hear how much this meant to them to be in the room, be in this space, get certified, represent their city. And now they're one of our certified life coaches. Like it speaks volumes to the work that you can do as a coach. And again, it all starts when you say yes, when you make that decision to get certified. Right. Coach Yvonne says all eyes focused. They focused on me. They planned it all, but they're really trying to like follow the photographer who is literally hiding in a corner. I had him come and film us on several occasions and um, he's on one end of the room. Then we have other shots from the other end of the room because we were in a small room, but I love miniature things. And so we had a miniature training room that only supposed to fit, fit like 10 people. We had like 16 people in that room that day. Had a lot of fun. And I'm still using those uh, photos because I was cute. I did my hair, cut it, permed it. Same thing I did for y'all this week, show up. Eyebrows done. But see, in this case, I had to get up early, leave my house, put on... Um, Spanks and heels and a skirt and a jacket. Oh, by the way, me in this picture, I was actually literally living in my office. Y'all heard me say that in a documentary, right? But you can't look at me and tell what I've been through. So if you think you got to be perfect or have your life together, child, you don't even know the half of it where you still show up and get paid. Because even though I was sleeping on the floor of my office, that office rent was paid, every other bill was paid, and I was saving up money, okay? I was waiting for the opportunity to do what God had me to do next. And here I am now in a newly renovated home on my own, where this is my space and we're paying these bills still for coaching. So but just in that holding pattern. So I wasn't waiting until I felt like I was perfect or, you know, waiting to feel like the right time to run. I was running regardless of what was going on in my life. And again, thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Can I get some hallelujahs and some amens? Okay. So let me break this down real quick. I need to put on some chapstick. Yeah, bear with me um, because I don't like talking with dry lips. So while I do that, I'm going to um, tell you about the different people who were in the room with me that day and every day for three to four years when I trained those first 110 coaches. And so this is what they looked like. These are some of the pictures of our coaches. So I trained those 110 certified life coaches all over North America and the Cayman Islands live here in Atlanta. These were coaches and health and wellness people, entrepreneurs, educators, executive directors, human resources, administrator, case manager, social worker, holistic health practitioner, online ministry leader, speaker, author, social media influence of the macro, micro, and mega levels. These were project managers, sales and direct sales and multi-level marketing and network marketing, Uber drivers and Lyft drivers. Have I come down your lane yet? Did you hear your profession call just yet? Because if not, no worries. I'm coming down your lane. Now, you might see some familiar faces, but you also may get to know some of these coaches soon. These are consultants and trainers and managers, directors, specialists, supervisors, instructors, representatives, social workers, licensed uh, master social workers, counselors, therapists, clinicians, prophetesses, however you say that plurally, evangelists, executive assistants, business owners, teachers, and principals. Did I name your career yet? Future Black woman, Christian certified life coach. Did you hear your lane 
called because that's who represent in all of these pictures. Let me know if I called you out yet, okay? In this particular group, this was special for two reasons. Number one, we lost one coach out of those 110. And by lost, I meant he was a pastor who his wife told me, I called to check on him after certification. She told me one Sunday morning, he walked off the pulpit after preaching and he literally fell to his death. That's a moment of silence for our coach. Now, that was the first time I had ever lost a coach. So I remember calling my business partner like, how do I handle this? So we sent money to the family. But his wife said, AJ, please keep calling me. His literal dying wish was for us to coach together. One day I'm going to be in your class and just to hear your voice and how you care. And you're calling to check on me and the boys. Please keep calling. Y'all, that's ministry. An angle of ministry I didn't know to prepare for. Ministry in addition to the jobs that they had as admission coordinators and already being self-employed and being a practitioner or a nonprofit organization leader, minister, pastor, reverend, deacon, bishop, doctor, first lady, elder, leaders of singles ministry, songstress, playwright, judge, youth service worker, coach. Can you see that being a part of your ministry? Because the lady in the wheelchair that you see, she was off the chain. Her name is Keisha Green. You may know her. You may not yet know her. Um, but this is her. I circled her. She is a rising reality TV star. She came in coaching in the certification training one way. She took the certification. We met afterwards. She purchased a copy of my book where I share my secrets of you know, what I've been through, using my story. She was already an author. She had a story to tell. And she's like, here's what's a part of my vision. I'm gonna be on TV and let me tell you what it's gonna be like. And I'm like, cool, you know, I listen to visions all day, every day. And all I can do is sit, wait, pray, and join my faith with yours, right? I see case managers. Um, okay, uh, Coach Tam, I'll get to your question in a minute about what I would tell my younger beginning coaching self today if I could. And making sure that I do not miss any other questions. Let me incorporate that. What I would tell my younger self is to keep going. Because y'all see me with 110 different people. 110 different stories represented in all of those pictures, including my own. With every picture, with every class, I did 22 plus classes, hundreds of hours in heels, by the way. I told y'all I was cute in them trainings. Um... I have a story to tell with every picture. We ain't got enough time, even in the five-day trainings, okay? And so I would tell myself to keep going. And that's what Coach Keisha did because she had a vision. And here she is riding, riding, re, riding, rising reality TV star. That's the joke that she would crack, uh, riding reality TV star. But she got what she wanted. She was um, casted for a reality TV show of... Um, Black women with some part of their body amputated, whether it was a hand, a foot, a leg, and because she had lost both of her legs in a car accident, I think it was how she lost them. Um, but these are ladies who don't have arms or an arm or uh, prosthetic limbs. And to see her make her dream a reality, to go from that day in the training to living out her dream because of a newfound confidence, thanks to being a certified coach, being spoken into, spoken over, prayed with, sold into, it just made ministry that much larger. So this is one of our Black women certified life coaches. So I know many of you guys have dreams. You're ready. And we've had so many other visionaries like Coach Vanessa Green. I mean, this is recent. She graced a magazine cover for Black families. This is one of our scholarship recipients, one of the first to represent what it looked like to get met literally halfway with the vision God has given you and now being able to go full force. I mean, she is a powerhouse. She is a podcast host, a minister, an author, magazine cover model, and of course, a black woman Christian certified life coach. Don't she look good? Like that looks good. 
So that's Coach V Green, as we call her. Another visionary is Coach Naricia Johnson. She's here in Atlanta. Well, she's in Georgia. She drives up to Atlanta. Um, so we are like literally breathing the same air as we speak. And she's a local documentarian. So people would come to my trainings and say, oh, I want to be like Ayanla Fixed My Life. Was th This was Coach Naricia's version of that. She was selected uh, to be the lead coach to sit in the seat of an Ayanla um, Van Zandt, if I can get it right. Um, and so she was the featured coach. She coached men, adult men who had been through traumas in their life. And when I say when she sent me this video, which you can find it on YouTube, by the way, I was screaming at the phone like, you don't have to do this. Like I heard all of her training from becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified, Black woman, Christian certified life coach with me. I heard me in that documentary. It's exciting. In there cleaning the bathroom, listening and watching her, had to pause and throw the cleaning rag at my phone because she was coaching in that documentary. And she said, Coach, this company followed me, someone that I knew, saying, Hey, we're going to wait till you get certified. Once you get certified, we want you as the lead um, coach on this documentary with these Black men. And she did her thing. And so I share their stories because these opportunities came shortly after becoming a Black woman Christian certified life coach with me. The number one reason that our Black women Christian certified life coaches successfully complete our Black woman Christian life coach certification self-study training through my company, the International Center for Life Coach Training LLC, is for professional purposes. This means that they come, and maybe you will too, I invite you to join us because they want to make more money using their entrepreneurial skills. Like these ladies show up already gifted. They just need that extra uh, push, confidence, piece of paper, skills, know-how from someone who they can relate to because they've seen themselves in my story, still showing up to coach in pictures for professional photo shoots with life lifing, okay? So no, you don't have to be perfect, but you got to get started somewhere. And that's what they did. This was their out of the gate, out of certification on front covers and on TV screens. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. It makes ministry worth it. I paved the way for this to happen for them and for you too, if you are ready. And so because they come already ready to activate their entrepreneurial skills, they're ready to use their experience and they eventually get to the point where they're running a coaching session that's allowing them to set rates for their coaching services. They have this business in this company where they're making offers, they're receiving payments, they're consistently making money for their life coaching. They're not just calling themselves a coach because it's cute and they took a quick free training. They are equipped for future coaching clients. They're helping their clients set goals, take action, achieve results, be held account accountable in their life. Can you see yourself doing that? I can see y'all, those who are ready, you gotta be ready. So as you can see, and soon you'll discover more of these types of ladies, these are the type of women who do best in our program. These are the type of women that we invite to join us in our program. And so we're going to go through and let me see if you see yourself as one of these women. We're leading up to it. I'm going to give y'all time to build up, okay? Let me find our common coaching categories, and we'll dive in. Coach Yvonne says, yes, ready. So we're going to run through what I call the three common coaching categories. Y'all ready? Let me know. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to let one of our coaches talk to you real quick. Oh, one second. Hmm. I got to make sure that when I share my screen, I'm sharing the sound with you as well. All right, back to our share. Let me make sure you can see it.
Okay, there we go. So make sure we turned up. Coach Alexis is going to share about 30 seconds of how becoming a certified life coach with me helped her as someone who learns different. And I'll tell you what that means in just a moment. Let's listen to Coach Alexis. So if there was a lady who has that excuse of life is going on, so much is happening, I don't know, Coach AJ, maybe one day, what would you tell her about sitting still and taking the one-day life coach certification training with the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC? I would tell her life is going to always happen and life is always going to go on. Just take eight hours one day to set aside some time to do something for yourself that will move you one step closer to a goal that you have because you can do it. Make sure. Uh oh, my alarm is up and that's okay. Were you guys able to hear Coach Alexis? Let me know in the comments. Let me get my camera back on. So, Coach Alexis, when she came and got certified with us, she was one of the um, ones who had been diagnosed with ADD as an adult. And so, she made it through the certification. She said she loved it because it's number one, it's self study. So Coach Yvonne is on here with us. She's in training <laughs> to become a Black woman Christian certified life coach. So she can tell you how easy it is to go back and replay everything that you need. And so Coach Alexis was one of those coaches who went back. And she said, I'm glad it's a self-study process because um, I can go back <laughs> and hear you again. And so this is what she's telling you. You know, if you're ready, set a time, set aside that time to do this and do this for yourself, and you'll be one step closer to achieving that goal if becoming a certified life coach with me is what you desire. So I wanted y'all to hear from her really quickly. Um, after she got certified, I wanna throw this in, she was presented with an amazing opportunity to provide coaching to a domestic violence survivors. They, it's an organization in Texas where she is, we call her Coach Alexis in Texas. And so they called on her, the city of Houston, and they invited her in as a coach. How cool is that? Fresh out of certification. So of course she called me panicking, like, what's she? <laughs> so let's take it a step back and do what we call the three common coaching category. If you're ready to see if you meet one of the three, talk to me in the comments real quick. Y'all were saying yes, that you could hear Coach Alexis. I'm so glad that volume came through. So let me know if you want to know if you're ready to row <laughs> with the three common coaching categories, okay? All right. So there are three common coaching categories. And what that means is the three words will start with the letter C. And it's going to break down the different um, qualities. It takes those, uh, what did we do yesterday? The 27 coaching... Who could, who could help me with that word? What did we call it yesterday? The 27 secret coaching what? It takes those and it breaks it down. I've already said it, gave you the answer. But anyway, <laughs> this is going to help you categorize um, what it's called. So the first one in our category of three is called a confidant, aka the great girlfriend. And this is where you have history with a person or the people that you really want to help as a coach, because a lot of people think they're already coaching before they get certified. These are people usually that you went to school with, you grew up in church together, you may have been childhood friends with them, or have some type of life occurrence in common as friends. Again, you're a confidant, aka a great girlfriend. Then 
you are friend biased. You're always agreeing with them or siding with your friend, maybe because you don't want to offend or step on any toes or do anything to risk losing the friendship. Can anyone relate to any of that right now? Like you got people that you know you could help possibly as a coach, but because you have so much in common as friends, you're not quite sure how far you can go, what bounds to cross, what lane to stay in. Um, maybe you're afraid of backlash that you might receive. Maybe you don't want to, um, you know, step on toes or you're kind of biased. You know, you're always going to agree or side with your friend because you don't want to offend them. Um, you don't want to do anything to risk losing the friendship. Any of these sound familiar? And yes, Coach Yvonne, it was the qualities, the coaching quality. So these are three common coaching categories. And the first one we're in is the great girlfriend AKA the consultant, the one who gets the phone calls. But because you don't know your lane entirely, um, you often shrink down. You're afraid of asking too many questions or questioning. You're afraid of playing devil's advocate, if you will. You're afraid of having opposing views to your friends. So you often shrink down with your gifts and conversations with these friends. You don't feel like your gift as a coach is or will be respected enough to say something to your friends, even if it might help them have a breakthrough. And so you only share your thoughts, your feelings, or your opinions or ideas. Can anyone relate to being a great girlfriend, aka a confidant? Sorry, I said that wrong earlier. It's a confidant, a confidant, someone who finds confidence or confidence in. I'm trying, y'all. I'm messing up with these words. But uh, we here great girlfriend. Any great girlfriends in the house? Talk to me. Category number two is the consultant, aka the marvelous mentor. You're a strategist. You're someone who is the go-to for mapping out a plan or a path for others to follow. You point others in the right direction. You help open up doors. You have them drop your name when they get there. You be like, tell them so-and-so sent you. You tell people what to do, how they shoulda, coulda, and woulda did this if they were you. You analyze, you assess, you evaluate situations before going in. You are an expert advice giver, a wisdom sharer. You're very opinionated, girl. You aim to help keep others from making the same mistakes you've made in life. How many marvelous mentors, aka consultants, do we have in the room on today? I see some yes, yes, yes. That's me, the great girlfriend. How many marvelous mentors do we have in the house on tonight? Now you might, you might, who said no? <laughs> you might have multiplicities. That means more than one, multiples of these categories. And it's okay, because this final one is the one that you want. This what you want. I'm giving y'all a chance to confess, cleanse your system, get it out, get it out, get it out. I've been the great girlfriend. I've been the consultant. I've been the confidant. I've been the marvelous mentor. People have told me their, pro uh, their problems. They confided in me. That's been me, sis. That's been me. Here's what you want. Pay attention to this last category, number three of our common coaching categories, okay? Okay, Felicia was like everything except being opinionated. I got you. I see what you're doing there. I see you. Tam said, absolutely. <laughs> I see you. That's me. Tell me if this is you. You love to connect. You know how or you're willing to learn how to optimize questions and leverage listening. What that is and what that means is you know how to hear what someone says, really pay attention, listen, and then turn it into a question. That's called leveraging listening and then making them think. You really have this desire to help others create an action plan. You're like, stop talking to me about it. Stop telling me. Go do something. What are we going to do about this? You want to help people get into action. 
You're a great communicator, listening and really hearing what people are saying. What that means is you ever be talking to somebody and all of a sudden you'll hear your name. And so you stop and you'd be like, listen, listen, listen. There's a difference between hearing. Like I hear my space heater going off right now. But if I listen, I can hear my clock ticking. I can hear airplanes above my home. I can hear cars. I'm listening. So it takes a deeper skill. So when you do that in conversation with others, you help them pick up on what's not being said. My first coach calls that the um, invisible obvious. You know how to hear what's not being said. Two different skills, listening and hearing. Um, whole nother training. <laughs> then you don't tell a lot of people, but you know, you real humble. <laughs> you real honest. <laughs> you have a heart to serve, but that heart is also spirit led. You'd be like, all right, God, you know, should I say this? Should I do this? Should I go here? Are they ready for this? You want me to release this Jesus? Like you're really, really spirit led with your communication. You're patient and you're willing to wait to listen and to ask questions versus just jumping in and giving advice, sharing opinions and telling people what they need to do. Can anybody relate to these qualities? Because guess what those qualities are? Guess what that category is? The coach. <laughs> you guessed it. You are the confident coach because you know how to do what we call C-O-A-C-H, which is a five-part acronym. And we're going to get into that coming up on day three. So I hope you ready, ready, because that's what we're talking about on day three of the future Black Life Coach five-day boot camp. Again, if you got friends who need to be here, get them in here. Share me with somebody else. Don't keep me just to yourself. Share me with your friends. Give them the link to our group if they're not already in our Future Black Life Coaches Facebook group over at futureblacklifecoaches.com, futureblacklifecoaches.com. For those of you who are like, hey, I got a friend who wants to get certified, futureblacklifecoaches.com is where she needs to be. She has to meet the same qualifications you met. Black woman Christian <laughs> wants to be a certified life coach quickly, futureblacklifecoaches.com. Let me see my coaches before I ask y'all a question and then we wrap this thing up on tonight. I see you, Coach Yvonne. She's like, I'm that coach. Coach Felicia says, that's the one. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Target, 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 target emoji. Yes, I am. Coach Tara says, it's me for sure. I see y'all. Thank y'all for letting me know. So before we go, let's think through what we've talked about on today. We went through the eight modals of coaching. I showed y'all how coaching can be delivered. You met the first 110 coaches that I've certified. I've let you know that Black Black coaches make money. I showed you one snippet of our bank accounts, and there are multiple. It's hard to keep up with, but that's a really great blessing to have, right? We just went through the three common coaching categories, and I see that we got some coaches in the house. And then you got to hear from Coach Alexis, which is one of our coaches, and you met several of our professionally trained, skilled, qualified Black women, Christian certified life coaches. So I want to ask you this coaching question and put it, and I'm going to vote on our best comments on tonight. What's your biggest aha or your main takeaway from today? Day two of the Future Black Life Coach five day boot camp. What is your main aha or takeaway for day two? Tell me what you learned. Because coming up on day three, we're doing a giveaway worth $297 plus. We're going to talk about what $145,000 represents. Y'all can probably guess, take a few hints. We're going through what we call the 10 coaching categories, or sorry, characteristics. I get my C's mixed up. We went through the qualifications. We went through the qualities. We went through categories. Now we're going through characteristics, okay? I got a thing about iteration, so I also get tongue-tied. But listen. 
in all of this, there are three things, three secrets we're going to learn on day three. It's called the C3 method for how to confidently convert coaching conversations to clients' cash checks and credit cards using three case studies. So you're going to meet three of our um, certified life coaches, and then you're going to hear two of their success stories. You're going to hear one from Coach Andrea who made her first $3,000 in her first two weeks as a Black woman Christian certified life coach fresh out of certification while dealing with life lifing. We're going to dive into that. And then we are going to share more details about the one day Black woman Christian life coach certification. So make sure you set your alarms, put us in your calendar to be here, same bat time, same bat place, spend about 60 to 90 minutes with me to come learn how this works, get all your questions answered because that's what I'm here for, okay? So the one takeaway I see so far is that it doesn't have to be perfect to deliver what's needed for the clients, A. Man, sister, future black life coach. <laughs> she says there are enough eight avenues to deliver and reach the people and gain the revenue. Hallelujah and amen. Any other ahas, takeaways before we go? Let me know what you know, and then I'll let you go. Bars. I might rap every day that I can think of something that rhymes. What is your biggest aha main takeaway so far? Give me one more and then we'll wrap it up and call it a day. This has been so much fun. I enjoy teaching this class. If you can't tell, the boot camps be boot camping, okay? So make sure you're here for the rest of the day. We have three more days together and I'm going to break down everything that these ladies did to get here with me as Black Women Christian Certified Life Coaches and how you can join us. That's the fun part, learning how you could join us, saying yes to your next steps and making that decision to move forward. All right, y'all either typing slow or y'all said everything in the uh, engagement on today. So I'll go back and see who commented what or if I miss anything, because I don't see anything. If you type in, let me woosah, I'll give you 10 seconds to go on and wrap it up and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Here we go. Woosah. Okay. Coach Yvonne. Coach Yvonne says, Life Coach Certification is an investment in yourself that takes you higher and higher. Hallelujah. Coach Yvonne. That's all I have for us for day two. Be back here on day three because you don't want to even know what you might miss if you missed it. Okay. I expect y'all to come on in, bring some energy and engagement, rep your city, tell me your questions, engage, all the things, bring the good energy, the good vibes, the prayers on day three. And until we meet again, my friends, remember there is someone somewhere and they are waiting to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine, you're giving others permission to do the same. And as I told you today, the day before and going to keep saying it. When you impact one life as a black woman, Christian certified life coach, shall you impact generations? If you're ready to impact generations, you already got us in our ca your calendar for tomorrow. You about to go set that alarm and engage with us after we're no longer live by reposting your biggest aha moment and your takeaway, hashtag future black life coach. I will see y'all same bat time, same bat place for day three. See you on the other side. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future Black Life Coaches.